guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is super special because I have my mom here today. <laughs> I'm going to be taking mom to Sephora and we're, we let her pick out whatever she wants. So we're doing a mom's shopping spree today. Fun. So we're spoiling so mom today, which of course she deserves the world. So she's going to be talking about some of her favorite products. Then we're going to come back and we're going to try everything out that we got for you guys and see what works and what didn't. Also, um, I didn't really buy myself anything from Sephora because I was spoiling mom today and because I have tons of makeup already. So I'm just going to be trying out some brand new products that I've been meaning to try on my channel in this video. I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So we will jump right into this video. All right, mom, you know what the rules are? I know the rules, anything I want. <laughs> grandma shopping, oh, I call her grandma because she's Aaron's grandma. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Mom's getting her glasses. She getting her glasses? She's, she's getting, getting ready, y'all. She ain't playing games. Here we go. She loves Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh. See, I'm thinking that's too much for me. At my age, you have to be careful of putting too much shimmer on those eyeballs. Even the kids would say, I like your makeup. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty small one, These are auntie colors. I've used Anastasia, but not that particular one. These are pretty good. So that's what we'll get. Then we'll get that. An eyeshadow palette. I have mascara. Mascara. I have a powder. I'm needing a foundation. Okay, let's find a foundation. Now this is blush. Palette's pretty. Let's try a different color. Yeah, I love red. That's a pretty pink. Or this is a pretty like. That is pretty. That is pretty. Do you think that's too red? <laughs> that's like orangey. That is different. You like that? Yeah, I think I do. I mean, that is. Pretty. That's real pretty. It's called the rose gold shimmer palette. I think this one's busted. Let's see that one. The difference. What is that? Good lash day black. All right. We have a mascara. And black. Superhero. Do you think they might dry my skin out too much by putting a powder on there though? Maybe. Yeah. See the cream foundation in the palette. Look at the cream. 100% sure you got everything you want. I got it. I got some good stuff. Okay. You can look through here too as we check out. You got some. They are sponges. Sponges? Walmart. Yeah, they got some good ones at Walmart, but we can get some beauty blenders, huh? Okay, Mom. So, Mom has some products that she just, like, loves. Oh, there's your bag. Look, it's Ooh. a big one. Yay! Yeah. People ask me all the time, do you see your mom makeup? She does. <laughs> and I love it too because I get to try things I never would be able to try. And there's some products that she sent me just is my favorite. And this is one of them. Yeah. IGK. This is the first class and they have like three levels of dry shampoo and this is the most intense. So mom loves this. And shout out to IGK because they actually reached out to us and they found out she loved it and they're going to mail her some. So It's a really, really good good product and if you put it in your hair you're not going to end up with a pile of powder yeah you know and I have very thin fine hair and white hair obviously <laughs> so I don't need a lot of charcoal powder in my hair it's not going to look like that it's going to be really really good it Let's comes out in a fine mist give it a shake so I'm going to give it a shake okay. and so we're going to go here Ooh, yeah As you can see gives you that volume quick it doesn't mm -hmm. take a lot of it already just those two little bitty bits has that volume to my hair already and it smells good. Ooh. Ooh, it smells so good. It does. It doesn't take a lot of it either. I've really enjoyed that. So good. thank you, Laura, for passing that on to me. Thank and you. thank you for sending me some. I appreciate it. Yeah, IGK. That's one of my picks from Sephora. Yes. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. <laughs> so shout out to them. They're good. So we'll do our makeup. And then at the end of the video, I think we should talk about all the skincare you got. That's a good idea. And this is something that Laura gave me here. I did, of course, let her go through like the PR box and the makeup back here and pick out what she, whatever she wants as so. well as Sephora. Because some of the stuff like I already had, so it was no point to buy it. Right. And 
and this has some of the pretty darker shades in it that I kind of like. This is the Focus palette from Kevin Aquan. She likes the neutrals. It's a cute little everyday palette. You want to start with your primer? Ooh, she got the Smashbox Minimizing Pore Primer. Because I want to minimize my pores. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> minimize. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this Kevin Aquan. This is the Balm Foundation. I have heard mixed reviews on it. You may help you. Got it. Yeah. yeah. I've tried that before and I do like it, but that doesn't mean you have to like it. And I have combination skin. You think oh, that... it dropped. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't care. I just didn't want you to wipe nothing on your face. Because I was going to. You should see this carpet down here. It's got Let makeup me on there. You go. there you go. I do have wrinkles, so I don't want anything to show up more into those wrinkles. And I've got skin that's combination. It's dry, but it's oily. So if you put something on that helps moisturize, then I'll have breakouts. And I'm 61 years old. Come on, breakouts. Ain't that right? Look how matte it made your nose. Yeah. I like that. Today I'm using the Primer Oil Free Makeup Gripping Base from IT. This is a new one. I've worn it one time and I really liked it. This seems to be working good. I've never tried this before, but this seems to be working really well so far. Ooh. So yay. So what'd you get for foundation? I got the Too Faced. Ooh, she read all the things. It's oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling, photo friendly, shine free. Right down the list of what I needed. <laughs> So I've got a beauty blender here that Laura gave me. She needed a beauty blender, and I said, we can handle that. She's got maybe one or two up <laughs> there in that box. Okay, here's this foundation, and it comes with this little brush to put it on with. What you thinking so far? So oh, the far, I'm liking good. it. The I think color. we did good with the color. We got yeah. natural beige for her. Love how easy it goes on. I'm really well. This foundation that I'm trying, look. Oh, that's pretty. That primer made a difference in your nose. Made a big difference, didn't it? Mm -hmm, you need to use that. That's yeah. good. This uh, foundation is weird. It's got like a lot of coverage in it, but it's got like a weird texture to it. Mm, and smells good too. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. I like that. I remember that back great. in the day, me and you used to dig through the clearance at Too Faced Online, and we would split the orders so we'd get free shipping. We would. And I would carry that around forever. I me mean, too. You know, it was just one Our of those things. little samples things. and stuff? Yes. I've always been the type of person to keep something a very long time. <laughs> I'm actually the opposite of her. Like, I'm not a minimalist, but I don't like to keep things around. Oh, I keep it forever. Uh, and then Laura say, uh, Mom, get rid of I could <laughs> clean out her whole house. We forgot to get a concealer from Sephora. This is what I use. Why don't you try a little bit of this? Okay, we'll do. Um, and you can do like this with it. I would not add a lot. This is the Huda yeah. Beauty. And I have to be careful about concealer because so, sometimes having wrinkles, it will get in the wrinkles and crease and make it look yeah. worse. Yeah, yeah. Totally, so you you're right. To, uh -huh. You have mature skin. Tell them about it. I'm sure there's a lot of ladies watching right now with mature skin. Yeah, so you have to be careful. And they're probably like, ma'am, can you tell us what works? Uh -huh. I don't think I've ever tried this one before from Hue to Beauty, but we'll, we'll find out. And I have to get up in the corners of my eyes because there's a lot of dark in those corners right there. That a little better? Yeah. And she's using the beauty blender and I've got my fingers The here. booty blender. I got the booty blender. I probably took too much. Yeah. Thank you. That helped lighten up a whole lot. Mm -hmm. It really did. It's good. It's brightening, isn't it? It is brightening. So this is something we picked out. So this is the Jouer. It's like, what it is, is it's like a powder that you just set all over your face. It's not really like for baking or anything, but it's to set like all the foundation and everything. I like it a lot. She got it in the shade medium. Now I'm going to be trying out the Urban Decay, the ultimate brush off set and go powder, which I've never tried before. Look at the packaging. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's oh, nice. Weird, it's weird, but yeah, that's nice. It probably comes out really well. <gasps> Oops, look. <laughs> I picked it up with my foot. That's so great. I mean, Don't put it on my face. It's your foot and your face, so that works differently. <laughs> See where I get it from? Oh, okay. pretty. Isn't that pretty that packaging? That is so pretty. Ooh, here, I'll show. Look at that compact. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try that out. Mm-hmm. Seems like it's kind of dark for me looking at it in the package. But it's such a light filter. It is. Yeah, when we saw it in store, we almost didn't get that one until we swatched it. It comes off of a sheer and just kind of hit your face with it. It'll make your foundation last and like set it really matte and pretty. That looks good. Oh, that does look good. <gasps> I shook it. <laughs> 
You got a little product there. To it's snowing. <laughs> and this is the fun part of putting makeup on together. We got some stuff going on here. It's so fun. I really never imagined we'd be able to do this in our lifetime. I would never imagine in our lifetime that we'd have this many products. I mean, it's just mind-blowing. Because we would be so particular what we'd buy. And we'd think about it and just talk about it. Because it was a big purchase for of us. Of course. And I realize it is for a lot of people, honestly. Yeah, we were talking about <laughs> Are you choking over there, Laura Ann? We were talking this weekend about back in the day, which you guys already know if you watched the adoption video, how we lived in an apartment area and mm -hmm. me and you shared a room and Ashley and Aaron shared a room when Aaron was born. Just like honestly how low income and we the were. Dry, and the dryer broke. There was three adults or three of us. Mm -hmm. I think she was 14. Yeah, I was 15, I think. It's about Aaron's age and a baby mm -hmm. and no dryer. <laughs> I know. We bought these little wooden racks. <laughs> we did. <laughs> They're little rickety wooden racks, and we put them up in the kitchen, and every night we'd dry the every baby night, clothes. Every yes, night, little, little baby clothes I remember we hanging off take, the side. Oh, I remember we'd hang our towels off the Off the back of the upstairs, like we'd been out to the beach, we hung our towel over the back. But no, it just got washed and hung over the balcony. But yeah. hey, you know, it worked. Mm -hmm. We always had clean clothes. Mm -hmm. We did what we needed to do. I'm sure I'm grateful for my dryer now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I know. The first dryer I ever had for me was whenever I moved to California. I didn't have a washer and dryer in my house. I moved out with roommates. Drive you, to your you place. You come to my house and, and then, yeah. Yes. And then I didn't have a dryer in my apartment. No. I'm like, so I'd be like, ah! <laughs> Tyler went to college an hour and a half away. And on the weekends, I would drive up there and visit him when I was off work. So I worked full time during the week. And I'd bring all my laundry. Because <laughs> he had a dryer in his apartment in college. And I didn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good now. I know. It was all good then. We just did what we needed to. That's we had right. one car and how many had, people? <laughs> we had a broken Buick with no air conditioning. Yeah. My sister used it, you used it, and then I used it. I bummed a ride from all my friends because I was still in high school. And my friends were so cool. They would always like bum me a ride to work or whatever. And then they'd take me to work because that's back when I worked the three uh -huh. jobs. So they'd have to pick me up. Yeah, we'd take you. Woo, that car. Okay, we're back on the makeup. I she picked new. this out. I did. Look at that. Ooh. It's so pretty. It looks like it would be a teenager, but it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's got great product in there, though. It's great Look product. There you guys. Look at that, Mom. Ooh. I love it. So I'm going to be trying out the new Hourglass Ambient Light, but they have it like in the clear packaging. Which um, are you going to use first? Well, I'm going to go in with the bronzer, I believe. Me too. I'm actually going to use some of your hula. You go ahead and, and go for it. She's using Dallas. You can mix those two, Hula and, and Dallas. And I might. I'm just thinking that might be dark for me, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, Dallas might. Oh, maybe. What blush are you going to use? I think we're going to use... Dandelion. Dandelion That's over pretty. here. That looks like that would be pretty. And I've got the... this out of... Yeah, you can that, use that. that. You can use this one, too, if you want. Oh, this is really pretty. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's really pigmented. Ooh, I like this, too. <gasps> Oh, I love. Let me see. Turn that way. Yeah, that looks really good. You're looking really nice and matte, too. It looks nice, but not yeah. too matte, you know? Well, I like the matte look. Uh, later in the day, then I have a lot of shine. With yeah, the sunset. You'll, and you'll, yeah, you'll get the shine either way. And even when I put setting spray on, it still ends up with a lot of shine. So, uh -huh. Now, that's something I never do. You need me to worry about it. <laughs> You don't need all this powder. No, I don't. I don't. As you get older, you have to be careful. It'll dry about, you out, too. Dry you out. And I'll need to be dried somewhat, but it's a happy line there. Are you using highlighter today? Yes. I think Tickle might do it. Mm. Oh, yeah, there it comes. I was just going to say, where is it? But now <laughs> I see it. <laughs> oh! There it is. See how much there is there? When I first put it on, I'm like, where is it? But then again, I don't see that well either, so. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh, you go ahead. That's pretty. That is very pretty. You got a good palette. I did. Are we doing eyebrows next? Yes. Okay. So mom is trying something I don't think she's tried before. This is the this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and she got it in taupe. I have not tried this one so this is something new for me. So I'm using today the Hourglass um, Soft Brown Brow Pencil and this is really nice as well. I've recently started using this and 
I do not have eyebrows, as you can see. That's why I like the wider, and instead of the pencil, see like that. I put some brows on mom. Yeah. Look a little intense. They look good, but they're a little intense because like we don't them. have the eyeshadow. They, do, they did good, so I'm, I'm excited. Yay. Yay. My brows always look kind of intense too whenever I don't have my. They go perfect with your hair though. Yeah. <laughs> Which eyeshadow are you using? This is the one I had picked out. And Laura said, Mom, I have one of those at home. I will give you. Pick <laughs> another. She said, Get another one. So we came across this one. And I liked it because it had a lot of the folly looking colors. And I'm one of those type of people I like going with the that season. Good, the pretty color. It has a lot of pretty colors. And a lot of these colors are stuff that I like to use. Oh, pretty. The packaging is so smooth and velvety. Yes. Show them the pretty. Oops, I dropped your brush, but look that's how pretty. Okay. That is beautiful. That oh, that's a good that's brush. That's a good brush. That's the a good ABH brush. palettes comes with the best brushes. Now, I'm not a professional like her, apparently. But I'm not a pro. <laughs> yes, yeah, you are. I'm going to just go in with some colors I think would go good with me. And I can't blend eyeshadow so. No, they, they don't care. I know, but it's they just one of those care. things. They don't care. Don't feel uh, like you got to do some crazy look on here. Right. That's right. Put your shimmer on. She's taking the matte shade. It's the base shade. It's called base. And applying it to her eyelid. Yeah, I'm trying to get some color. Okay, guys. Out. I got like 200 palettes to test out. <laughs> I got all these. It's gonna be a long video. <laughs> <laughs> I got all these new Norvina palettes. I thought I'd try them. Mom, look at these. So that is the Norvina. That's her first collab. She is the founder's <gasps> daughter. Oh. So Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's her daughter is Norvina, and that's the Norvina. Oh. Palette. Okay, I didn't know that. So Good later, info. see, it says Norvina on it. She came out with these. Beautiful. That one's really bright and crazy. I really yeah. like this one. Oh, so many colors. And that one's really bright and crazy. <laughs> Different, but, but yeah. still, that's a and lot of things. And lastly, we wow. got Wow. Yeah. Oh! oh! Oopsies. Look at that. Beautiful. But bright and colorful, this I mean. This probably your cup of tea. That's not my cup of tea. <laughs> Those would be beautiful on her. See, this kind of thing right here is that's my cup of tea. Like. <laughs> I'm going to take B5. Right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of love. That matte pink. That's love. Ooh, right there. And it comes off really well. I mean, when you touch the palette, oh, so much comes it comes off. a lot comes off. Let's go with a very light hand here. Pink looks cute on you. And I do like pink. Mm-hmm. But this isn't like pink, 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 pink. It's just a super subtle pink. Yes. I don't layer a lot of colors. Yeah. So I'm probably going to just go in with some Dazzling. Ooh, I love Dazzling. No, it's dazzling. like a pewter, shimmery pewter right here. That's a pretty color. Ooh, I think it's pretty. I kind of want to go in with this uh, B4 with the same brush. Ooh, a lot comes off. So I've enjoyed my visit. I've been visiting with Erin, too. Ooh, I see you, grand, grand baby. baby. She's a busy girl, though. She's here. She's got stuff to do. I am dying my own hair. All by myself. <laughs> yeah, oh, gosh. She's so busy. We're going to pick her up from school. Grandma's never seen her school before, so today we're going to pick her up and let Grandma see her school. Oh. A little bit of fallout. On Saturday, we went to an escape room. Oh, it was so fun. Yes, Mom was really good at an escape room. Well, I like to do puzzles. I like, like, the physical jigs jigsaw puzzle. But I feel like it's because I'm online so much that so I like a break from the computer, you know? I'm with children all day, so I want some peace and quiet. <laughs> How long have you been doing daycare? 21 years. Woo! Well... 21 years at the particular place I'm at right now. She's been at the same job for 21, but daycare in general, probably more like 30 years. Uh-huh. And I kept children in my home for a while. Yeah, you had a home daycare whenever yeah. we were little. And what did Dad do for a living? He was a service writer. Like, he worked at a car dealership. You know what's crazy? He was a service writer, so he would write up what's wrong with your car, and then they'd send in the mechanics to work on it. But I remember he would bring home cars and test them. Because oh, we yes. lived right down the street from it, so it would be a couple miles. He'd drive them home and then drop them back in the morning and do a test drive to make sure it's running good, right? Right. I think he brought home a Porsche one time. He did. And he let me and Ashley sit in the front seat. He did. I remember that, yes. And ever since then, I've always been like, wow. <laughs> Coolest thing I've ever seen. In, 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 he worked in, in car business for how many years? Well, I divorced. I packed your kids up and left. <laughs> if you like to see some of the other side of that story, you can watch the adoption video. I'll list it down below. Yeah. So then, when I had enough money to buy my car, 
I got a Porsche. <laughs> she did. Felt that Robert needed a car too. She gave her brother a car. She sure so did. So I had, which I drove forever. Actually, um, like whenever we moved out to LA, we moved we moved my car with me. I had a Honda that I basically talked Tyler into co-signing with me on it because I didn't have enough credit. And we had only been dating for like a year. And so he hid it from his parents because they would have killed him. Some girl that you just started dating, you're, you're going to yeah, co-sign you're gonna on a car. Co-sign up on a I'm car. Like, I mean, it was an old used Honda, but I, I took mean, such good care of it. I drove it for 10 years. And, you know, Robert needed a new car, my brother. So I got myself a Porsche and I shipped him my car. And my brother has two kids and a wife and he had one car. So I had a great car and... I cried my eyes out whenever I had it, whenever I saw it, because it was it got put on the trailer in front of my apartment, and they were shifting it to Alabama, and I was like... And I cried my eyes out when, it, when I, just, I picked it up, because a, she lives here, and I was like, that was her car, and yeah. it's here, and it makes me think of her, and I, I, know. I had to cry a little bit, because I know that she worked really hard to get that Oh, car. my God, I worked so hard for it, and I loved it, and I took such good care of it, but it's just like, life goes on. And Sometimes you gotta let those things go. I know, it's so weird how much more that car meant to me than the Porsche, though. Mm-hmm. That's life. It, it goes around like that, you know, and Laura always has been a very very hard worker and she's good with her money she never was a big splurger she always saved money and uh, i'm real proud of her for being able to do that she deserves every bit of it she worked everything out nobody gave her anything very sweet thank you and it's true (laughs) it's just true very proud of her thank you you want to try new eyeliner i do (laughs) let's do it so mom was asking me specifically, like I need a liner. And she does have kind of like, my eyes are kind of big on my head. Hers are kind of smaller. So she uses liquid liner and I thought the Steel Estee All Day is just like the best, but now they have the micro tip one where the tip of it's tiny so you can get really precise and ink doesn't go everywhere. So that's what we picked out for that's her. We, I had some at home I bought somewhere that was kind of cheap. And so I put it on and then I then ended up work like a couple hours and I have to look down I'm like, where'd the eyeliner go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so be careful about what kind of eyeliner you buy. Yeah, there's some things where it's, you want to have a good one. You really do. So I'm going to be trying out the brand new Huda Life Liner. And one side is like the pencil so you can put your waterline. And the other side <laughs> is the liquid. Oh, and it's a brush. So it's a little brush tip, which y'all know I love that. That's where I get the pulling on my eyes from. I have to pull I have on to my pull mine I, too. I just can't. I do can't do it. We're gonna have extra wrinkles, but that's We're okay. We're gonna have some extra wrinkles, <laughs> but we got our eyes. We got our eyes. We got good, didn't it, for years? <laughs> While mom's working on her liner, I'm gonna add a little bit of the new Lily Lashes mascara. So here we go. Ooh, it's really grabbing my lashes. Um, Mom loves It Cosmetics mascaras a lot. She's had a great experience. Haven't you tried it? I have. Um, you actually sent some to me, and um, mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. I used it all gone. <laughs> As you can see, I'm opening it up. This is what I picked out. The Superhero Mascara. I like the packaging, too. I do, too. So let's try this out. This is pretty nice. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. For all three of my lashes. <laughs> um, your lashes have always grown upwards. Mine, not so much. But that's because I wear false lashes all the time because I'm about to put them on. I've never had false lashes on my eyes you don't need before them. in my life. Really? Not even one time. You don't need them? Just... Well, looking at yours right now, honey, let me tell you, they're looking really good. Come through, Lily. Say, come through, Lily. Come through, Lily. <laughs> We need to let Aaron teach you some of the cool lingo. Oh, Lord. Linda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to call her a hunk of bunkers of burning love. Or don't do we. I'd say, come here to Grandma, you little hunk of bunkers of burning love, and let Grandma have a hug and kiss. My grandkids run from me. I wonder why. Because I'm going to squeeze them. Mm-hmm. Because you <laughs> squeeze them. Yeah. They love going to your house, though. Yeah, no, I love them. I have to keep Ashley's youngest, Aaron's half-sister. I keep her like every other weekend so that I can spend some time with her. Oh, people had a lot of questions in the adoption video. They wanted to know why I didn't take Ashley's other kid. Because her other kid's daddy has her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her but, other kid's dad is just like the best dad in the world. He's and, wonderful. Oh, he's so good. And that's Aaron's half-sister. They have the same mom, but not the same dad. But her her dad and his family. And my mom gets her every other weekend, too. And actually, uh, her youngest child is in her life like every other weekend right now. I 
Ash is working on her future right now. Everything's so new and fresh with her, so we're not rushing anything. Right. Mm-hmm. But she is able to spend some time with that child, yes. too. She's very fortunate. Yeah. Going through this with her has made me understand a little bit more about people with drug problems. Mm -hmm. You think it would never, ever happen to you. Yeah. And you think that you will close the door and forget that person because they know better. Yeah. It's not that easy. Yeah. She's on the way. To recovery. Recovery. And she has family support from everybody. She's had family support from Laura. Laura talks to her quite often. Mm -hmm. And Erin talks to her mom quite often. And so, yep, she's got a lot of family support, which helps her to stay in a good area. So, I love this mascara, it's working great, Ooh, isn't it? It's really it's good, really good stuff, yeah, especially with someone with old eyelashes like me. Oh, well, that's great, <laughs> but I like it, I really do. I think it's pretty intense, it doesn't take a whole lot of it, and, and, and it comes in a pretty big tube it seems like there's a lot of product in here yeah let's put some mascara on these lower lashes and then we'll do our little lippies i found one that it appeared to be very dark yeah but it wasn't when i put it on i was like okay this is my new favorite and mm-hmm. i like the way it felt on my lips it was matty looking but not too dry yeah and that's kind of what I like. She said, I have another one here. And she I- loves Char- that Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the new holiday. Viva La Vagara. Ooh, look, look at that. Look how pretty. That so is pretty. so pretty. Let's one. show them what you picked out. This is the one I actually picked out right here. She likes reds, but this is like a different red. It's like a really cool, warm. And just red is my favorite color. And and. I've always liked red, so Laura sends me a lot of red because uh-huh. she knows I like it. So This is a brand new shade. It's number 83. Number 83. From YSL. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, and it looks very intensive red. Mom, you know what this shade's called on Hunt on? What? It's called Sweet Tea. No way. Uh-huh. Sweet Tea. But that's just down home, in it, oh, it is. It is just down home. At home, Sweet Tea is the bomb. I'm sorry. It's a bomb everywhere. We just ain't got it. So I'm using Sweet Tea from Morphe. And then I love the Hot Sand from Maybelline. You get this at Walmart. It's so good. It's just like. Mmm, that's your color. Yes, I ma'am. I know, a nude. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, that feels so good going on. I'm Ooh, you. look at you. Let me use a little bit of Manny. This is Manny's brand. No. Oh, look at that. I've met Manny and I've met his mom <gasps> You'll before. You'll like his new liquid lip. You want to take that? Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. He'll give me another one. <laughs> Manny, give her another one. I'm taking this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I actually spent some time with Manny and his mom before. They're so sweet. So, so sweet. They're sweethearts. They really are. So, I, I enjoyed it. it very much. You want a little set spray? I do. Okay. I'm excited. We have the Cover FX Aquamarine. This is a hydrating. This is new. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. It's got like a pretty, yeah, it's really soft. Woo! Woo! Okay, my turn. Whoa, I'm moving the mirror so I can see myself. Yay! Oh, yeah. Now I look a lot better than I did when I started. You look really good. <laughs> Thank you so much. So let's show them a couple of the skincare products yes. that we picked out for you. So first, I'm obsessed with Kate Somerville. I think they're one of the best skincare brands. So they sent her, they sent me, I'm sorry, the Wrinkle Warrior. And this is great. It's very moisturizing serum and it helps with wrinkles. So Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, next, this is mom, what she picked out. This is the uh, Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Moisturizer. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. You guys are gonna tell me where to put it. There it is. And that's a really nice um, moisturizing product. And it's also for, look, for oily to combination skin. And Perfect. that's what I want. Then it smells so, so good. good. Yes, it does. It really does. You have to try this tonight, but we got her the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. This is their cleansing oil, and it's for normal to oily skin. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That is so nice. Mm. So I'm excited to use that. I really am. And that then is great. 
we got Tyler's mom a little gift. Yes. She's been wanting to try the bum bum cream because the girlfriends at work have been telling her it smells good, which it smells delicious. So we picked her up a bum bum cream. Mm -hmm. And I love Tyler's parents. I know. They're the sweetest. They're the sweetest. We get along great when we're all together. Oh, and you got some scrunchies too. Oh, yeah. Thank and you. And an umbrella. And an umbrella. I got an umbrella and some scrunchies. So I'm just all that in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she gave this to me. On the long wear lip cream from Jouet. It's like a really pretty liquid lipstick. Mm-hmm. I think so I'm like excited that. to use that. Mm -hmm. It's not red, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Thank you, Laura, for having mm -hmm. me to California, You're my welcome. sweet girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. She flies by my out here sometimes that's to take a visit. Right. I'm good at flying now. Yeah, Grandma makes it through the airport real good. I do. I'll mm -hmm. just skip along hopefully. Well, we love you guys, and we thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave for more content like this. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.